Deductive reasoning. Deductive reasoning is a logical process where conclusions are drawn from established premises or assumptions. In other words, if the premises are true, then the conclusion must also be true. This form of reasoning follows a structured format known as a syllogism, where two premises lead to a logical conclusion. For example, all humans are mortal. Socrates is a human. Therefore, Socrates is mortal. Inductive reasoning. Inductive reasoning is a logical process where conclusions are drawn based on observed patterns, trends, or data. Unlike deductive reasoning, inductive reasoning does not guarantee absolute certainty. Instead, inductive reasoning provides probable or likely conclusions based on the available evidence. For example, every swan we've observed so far is white. Therefore, all swans are white. Abductive reasoning. Abductive reasoning is a logical process where conclusions are drawn based on the best available explanation for observed phenomena. It involves inferring the most likely cause or explanation for a given set of observations. Unlike deductive reasoning, which aims for absolute certainty, and inductive reasoning, which seeks to establish general patterns, Abductive reasoning focuses on providing the most plausible explanation for specific observations. For example, when encountering smoke coming from a distant hill, we might infer the best explanation is that there is a fire. This inference is based on our past experiences and the most likely cause of smoke. Analogical reasoning. Analogical reasoning is a process where similarities between two or more situations or objects are identified and conclusions are drawn based on these similarities. This form of reasoning relies on the principle that if two things are similar in certain respects, they will likely be similar in other respects as well. For example, if a new medication has similar effects to a known drug, we might infer that it could also be effective in treating similar conditions. Here are some subtypes of logical reasoning we went over. Causal reasoning. Causal reasoning is a logical process where conclusions are drawn based on the relationship between cause and effect. It involves identifying the factors or events that lead to a certain outcome. For example, if an increase in temperature is observed, we might infer that it will lead to the melting of ice. Here, the increase in temperature is the cause, and the melting of ice is the effect. Decompositional reasoning. Decompositional reasoning involves breaking down complex problems or concepts into simpler parts or components to better understand their underlying structure or relationships. For example, when faced with a challenging math problem, decompositional reasoning involves breaking it down into smaller, more manageable steps to solve it more effectively. Decompositional reasoning is commonly used in various fields such as mathematics, computer science, and problem solving to simplify complex problems and facilitate understanding. Probabilistic reasoning. Probabilistic reasoning involves assessing and evaluating uncertainty and likelihood in making decisions or drawing conclusions. It relies on probability theory to quantify uncertainty and make predictions based on available evidence. For example, when predicting the likelihood of rain, probabilistic reasoning considers factors such as cloud cover, humidity, and historical weather patterns to estimate the probability of rainfall.